Hi, this is Russ McClay, aka Infrared Wind, also known as Infrared Wind, which is who you see. And I am standing in front of Dow Lodge, and this is um, the second part of looking at how one changes one's appearance. And to go through um, the interface once more. So let's. Um, I'm gonna do. Let's go back inside the little lodge here, Dow Lodge, in Second Life, and I've created a. There's a platform here. Teleport. We'll go to the platform and we'll open the appearances tab. Kind of let things res in here a little bit. Res is resolution, and uh, I should, let's see, did I pop the mini-map? Is that the mini-map, or is that the mini-map? Ah, I know. <laughs> you have to have the interface on to do these things. Okay, I can see where I am about. Now, I must admit that um, although was, I was a devotee 10 years ago in Second Life, it's, uh, I haven't been spending that much time in it uh, in the last few years. So some of my skills are, uh, yeah, need some practice. So to continue, part two of appearances, just kind of spinning around here using my uh, alt and control keys with the mouse um, we'll right click on the avatar and we'll say appearance and immediately it goes into he she or what it goes into this uh, this pose and this pose is to help you to um, you know work on your avatar in the previous part one, we looked at the body, and we saw a lot of body things you could do, and and, and we went through. Well, actually, it's shape, body part, shape, and this is based on a model I made of of infrared wind back in 2013, now three years ago or so, uh, which is actually goes back to 2010. And that's really my original guy, and and now the avatars of Second Life are so realistic. I mean, they're just amazing. Uh, I've actually been um, ridiculed for using such an old style avatar but we have two minutes <laughs> remaining here and I want to go through some of these things um, in this interface the appearance interface you have skin um, a skin color uh, again these are sliders you can go crazy with these realistic or total fantasy um, so that skin color we have face detail you have things like facial uh, definition freckles and complexion, lip, lip pinkness, how about that for a thing, makeup, um, this is, I mean, you could just spend a whole lifetime in here, you know, a whole lifetime doing these things, of course, it's pretty ridiculous looking at me, my gruff old school uh, avatar looking at these things, uh, body detail, you know, body definition, uh, again, all these things are controlled as sliders, going to hair, my god, you got color, style, eyebrows facial you can do you can upload textures you can work on these things you have eyes a fairly limited uh, thing you can do here a fairly limited set of uh, parameters that you can change uh, then you go into close and uh, this is just for this present one and you know these things um, once you set up an avatar you can export that look save it and y therefore you can have many different I mean you could do anything you can make yourself look ri completely ridiculous or very beautiful as best you can but you also in Second Life can buy um, unbelievably well created you know uh, avatars and personas I mean well, we're talking for you know in Second Life most things are, are really cheap 
I mean, you could buy probably something that would just be mind blowing, which we may get to. Well, we will get if I keep doing these, you know, where I can show some of the uh, some images or uh, you know, real time views at the time they were recorded of uh, some of the most amazing uh, avatars uh, that are the result of creative artists in Second Life that may only cost a few dollars, like, you know, two or three dollars, and you could buy what they call a skin that would be um, just really, uh, you know, so realistic. So that's, this is part two of how you change your appearance. And I will show you that in my inventory, under A, and I have infrared wind, which is my handle in Second Life. I mean, I have these, uh, these collections of things. And I'm running over my five minutes, already six minutes, I don't care. <laughs> but here you can see how it works a little bit, you know. And again, you know, I haven't been in Second Life for a long time. This 2012 uh, a Cary Grant look. And so we have a tux and you can just drag these things onto your avatar but it is it is so unbelievably infinite what you can do with your appearance in Second Life and that's one of the things that um, I consider to be uh, really wonderful and again this is you know Linden Lab created Second Life but all this stuff that you see in it all this function well the functionality they created but what you can do with it is all created by us users as is really this platform I'm standing in it and uh, yeah the things I'm wearing and perhaps the next another episode I'll show how I change my four we'll make that part three yes so another episode in the adventures of second life